The patient should not consume any caffeine or nicotine prior to blood pressure test due to the possibility of inaccurate measurements. Patients should be seated in a quiet room for five minutes with back rested, feet flat on the floor, and bare arm on a table so that the middle of the arm is resting at the level of the heart, preferably the left arm. Make sure you have the proper equipment and that it is working properly. Then determine if the cuff is the appropriate size for the patient with the specified markings on the cuff. Place the cuff an inch above the middle of the arm of the patient. Line up the symbol of the artery with the patient's artery. As you can see, the patient's arm circumference lines up between the markings of the cuff, suggesting that it is the right size. Once you place the cuff, make sure that the stethoscope earbuds are facing forward for proper use. Make sure that your stethoscope is working properly. Place it on the brachial artery of the patient. Make sure the gauge and the bulb are closed so when pumping, air doesn't come out of the cuff. Pump up the cuff to 200 millimeters of mercury, releasing the gauge two to three millimeters per second. The first curd cough sound should be your systolic blood pressure. The last sound or the muffled sound should be your diastolic blood pressure. After release the, all the air of the cuff, And that is how you take a blood pressure. Patients with systolic blood pressure of less than 120 or a diastolic blood pressure of less than 80 are in the normal blood pressure range. Stage 1 hypertension patients pertain to a systolic blood pressure that is between 140 and 159 or a diastolic blood pressure ranging between 90 and 99 while a systolic blood pressure greater or equal to 160 or a diastolic blood pressure greater or equal to 100 corresponds to a patient in the stage 2 hypertension classification. watching.